Hello everyone, welcome to a webinar of Nautics Push Notification Service. Today we're going to talk about what our Push Notification Service is and how you can benefit from it. A couple of words about me, your host, before we start the webinar itself. My name is Karina and I'm head of this Push Notification Service. A couple of organizational moments. If you have any questions, please submit them to the questions tab and also you will get the presentation of this webinar after so that you could always get back to the information that I'm going to provide you today. So, a couple of things of what we're going to discuss. First of all, I will introduce you our push notification service, what Notix is and how it's working. Then we will check with you the preview of the web push notifications. That's going to be very much uh, needed for those who haven't worked with this format before. We will also cover the benefit that push notification service such as Notix is bringing to webmasters and other kinds of clients. We will review the self-service platform of Notix in which you're going to be working. Then we will cover the 3R growth solution on which we are focusing on re-engagement, reach and revenue, which you can get. We will speak about the pricing because I know it's a question which everyone is interested in. I will give you a couple information about our partners and that's it. Then we're going to sum up all of the information that we're going to discuss. So let's get started. What is Notix? Notix is the audience re-engagement service, which is based on web push notifications that are working on both desktop and mobile devices. In Notix, you can collect your own database of push notification subscribers and engage them by sending your own content in those notifications. And which is also interesting, you can unlock a new monetization opportunity with Notix. I will cover all of those moments in more details. Let's go straight to that. What are web push notifications? I'm sure that you have already seen some of them on your devices if you have ever subscribed to those. Those are working on Android, Windows and Mac OS. Here on my presentation, I have a couple of examples of that. So usually a web push notification is coming with the title, with the major text and the images that make the push notification catchy. Usually there is a small icon and a bigger image. So uh, when sending those push notifications to your subscribers, which benefits you are actually getting? First of all, you're bringing users back to your website and you're increasing the page views because they are coming back more and more to read your content. Since they're reading your content more and more, they're also growing the loyalty to the content that you're producing. And as we know, in journalism, it's very important to make the quality content that users will really like to read. Since users are returning back, and I'm sure that some of you are already running some monetization tools such as AdSense, as there are more views, you're also consequently getting more revenues from those banner ads that you might have on your website. And you can also use push notifications as a tool of communication with your audience by notifying them by recent news that you have on a website or different promotions that you have. For example, if you're running the e-commerce website, all of these can be done by web push notifications in Notix. Let's go straight to the platform in which our clients are working, where you will be working, and I'm sure <laughs> that you would really like it. So uh, the best thing to show the platform is actually going right in there. So I will jump from my presentation right now to screencasting of the platform. Once you log in, you will find yourself on the statistics page. So here you will have all of the information about the users who are subscribing to notifications, unsubscribing, and the data about the delivered notifications, impressions, and clicks that users make on those notifications. But in order to get started, the very first thing that you need to do is to add your source. Basically, if you're the website owner, here we're speaking of the domain name. So you click on the add source and add your domain. For example, let it be the, huh, let it be webinar domain, webinar domain. Dot com. Here, it's not obligatory to put right the domain that you have. You can have some conventional name here. This is all for your convenience. Then you click on the add source and you can create the tag. And this is the most important part here because here we go to the integration stage. Here now platform, you can download the service worker file, which is required for the integration and make all of the setups for the tag itself. Here you can regulate the different types of prompts. The prompt is the model window, which is showing up for the user when he comes to your website and when the browser is suggesting him to subscribe or not to subscribe to notifications. And here in the platform, you can regulate how this is gonna look. There are different types of prompts. You can also regulate the text, which gonna com come up for the website. 
for the website visitors. You could also regulate the delay before this notification comes up. For example, if you do not want to show the notification pop up right after users getting back to the website, for example, you can just put the 10 seconds delay and it is done in the platform like that. When you're done with the configuration of your tech, just copy it and integrate it to your website. And our support team, here you can find the live chat, can always help you with the integration if you have any questions on the go. Then, as soon as you're done with the integration, you start collecting your subscribers and the most exci exciting part is starting, because you start to engage them. Here's how the page of the message creation looks. Uh, here you can select the source. For example, if we had the webinar domain here, this is what you're selecting at this stage. And I would like to show you the feature of the fast push creation, because we know that usually push notification services are run by the journalists, teams that don't have much time to regulate the push notifications. This is why we have automated those tools in our platform to make it the most convenient as possible. Let me show you this on the example of our blog. By the way, on our website, we have the blog with the case studies and all of the interesting information about the push notifications that you can find really relevant. So if you want to use the feature of the fast push creation, you just type the target URL in here. You click on the line, put the content from the target URL and voila, it's done. Our system is automatically fetching the materials for your future push notification. And here you can check the preview, how your push notification going to look on Android, Windows and Mac OS. But of course, if you want to make all of this manually to select your own creatives for the push notification, your own text, you're totally free to do that. By default, the notification going to fly out to all of the subscribers that you have. But if you want to narrow this group of recipients down, we have a lot of targeting options, such as countries, also cities, platforms, separation systems, devices, browsers, browser languages, and audiences. We will cover the thing about the audiences in a bit more details. And about the setting, sending settings. Uh, you shouldn't send the notification right away if you're not ready yet. So firstly, you can save it as a draft or you can make a delayed sending and schedule it, for example, in an hour or for some particular hour when it's relevant for your users to receive that notification. So all of this is done on this page. Let's create some push notifications together. Once the notification is sent, we are going back to the statistics page and check the engagement which we have. Here, I mean the amount of delivered notifications, impressions, those are the notifications that have actually been seen by the users on their devices, the clicks and the CTR metrics. Uh, here is the table of monetization. We will cover this in more details a bit later, but uh, speaking of that in a couple of words right now, of course, you will have all of the data about your earning right in the dashboard and you can also monitor this. Some other tabs in our da dashboard include the list of the subscribers where you can group them manually into different audiences. The page of working with those audiences here, you create those uh, which you would like to target after. And if you would like to use the retargeting pixels, for example, you can also create them right in the dashboard. How it's working. So you're putting the retargeting pixel on some particular page of your website. And then our system is understanding that, okay, this subscriber should be in audience, let's say iPhone owners or celebrity interested users. Everything is regulated right in here. If you would like to take the automation to the next level, of course, we have the API integration and in our platform, you can always find the detailed instruction for that. And about the integrations, for example, if you have the WordPress based website, you can use our plugin. If you have RSS feeds, then we can also turn those into notifications for you and that's going to be fully automated. And some other integrations that we have, such as Zapier, Integromat, AMP pages, if you're running them, all of those can also be found in our platform. And of course, if you have already some subscribers, for example, in another push service and you would like to transfer them to Notix, this can also be done with us, as well as the parallel testing that I'm going to cover a bit later. So this is what we have on the platform. Uh, to sum up, so yes, the basic features that are there are to collect the subscribers and to engage them. And everything else are the features inside of that. 